The classic Boss DS1 distortion pedal. Is there any substitute? Well, in this GarageBand iOS Quick Jam, we're going to find out because we're going to take a look at the distortion effect here in GarageBand iOS. Let's go. Now, what is a distortion effect? Distortion is the act of increasing the volume or gain of a signal until it peaks or clips. And this is called hard clipping in the case of distortion, which means you get a very gritty, crunchy sound, which is great for things like electric guitars and even some vocals. So let's show you how we can use distortion here in GarageBand. And just before we dive in, distortion is very similar to overdrive. And I talk about overdrive in a related video, which is linked up above and down below and also at the end of this video. So let's Let's dive in and show how we can use the distortion effect here in GarageBand. Here is my clean lead guitar with just a little bit of chorus effect on it. At the moment it sounds like this. But what if we want this guitar to be a little bit more crunchy and gritty? Well, let's tap on our mixer icon at the top here, go to plugins and EQ. And now if we tap on edit, well, let's find an empty slot here. We'll tap on the plus and we'll go distortion. And now our guitar by default will sound like this. So you can hear that clipping or peaking at the top end and we've got our controls here that we can actually dial in the amount of distortion that we want. Firstly, our drive, which is how many additional decibels of gain we want to add. So the more we turn this up, the more distorted the signal becomes. Let's show you that now. So you can see that you can very quickly add too much distortion, which might be good for some extreme metal and other hard rock genres, but for something like this, we want to keep it pretty subtle. Our tone slider will determine at what frequency that distortion kicks in. So let's play that back and demonstrate that now. So depending whether we want a very bass heavy or a very treble heavy sound, we can dial that tone anywhere from 20 hertz all the way up to 20,000 hertz to get us a different sound with our distortion effect. And finally, our output. So what we might find is that when we add some distortion, especially at the lower frequencies, it actually reduces our gain. So we can use our output to dial the gain back up to sit better in the mix. Like all of our effects here in GarageBand, we don't need to just use it on electric guitar. We can use it on anything else that we like as well. Drums, percussion, vocals. Let's try it on this bass guitar. So if we go in once again, we go to our plugins and EQ, we go to edit and we add a new effect. Let's add distortion. Now let's play this bass back with a little bit of distortion. And we can just get that nice driven bass tone that may add something to certain types of music. Very cool. And as I mentioned at the start of the video, the overdrive effect is a similar but more subtle version of distortion. So at the end of the video, there'll be a link where you can check out our overdrive function here in GarageBand. So there you go. The purists may still reach for their DS1, but what a cool substitute that we have here for some virtual distortion in GarageBand iOS. If you've got comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave those down below and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. As I mentioned, we've got another video all about Overdrive as well as other GarageBand Quick Jams, which you can check out down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right or head over to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.